Most of my early childhood days was in Red Hill, formerly known as Ang Sua, the Hokkien um, term. And I still remember playing the field with all the other kids. And I used to go to school nearby, which is the Bukit Merah South School, a walking distance. And time for me to go to school around about lunchtime, you know, mom will call me, come home, you know, have your shower, lunch and go. Half the kids can continue playing because they don't go to school. Those were the days like uh, schooling was not compulsory. You know, but I was fortunate enough that parents paid attention and made sure that I went to school, including my younger brothers and sisters all. You know, I was staying in a Singapore Improvement Trust block of flats in Red Hill. And in the drain there, there used to be parangs, knives, spears. But we were kids, we were playing with it. But the gangsters were using it to control the area. And it was, I mean, I didn't realize all this until later in my life. It was the Bukit Osui gangsters that controlled the Red Hill gangsters. And your gang fights was very common those days. And it used to be 02, 04, 06, you know. And we were very small, so we used to imitate them, you know, putting the handkerchief out, you know, wearing very short pants. All that, we were imitating them. And the gangsters, okay, I mean, what they were doing is not right, but they never disturbed families, children, or their fights were rival other gang companies. <laughs> I always felt that the Bukit Hosui fire that caused the destruction of a lot of homes there wiped out the gangster system. Also affected the Red Hill area. And then things slowly began to change. And I also witnessed the Hockley riots. Hockley buses used to ply around the area. I used to go to come back from school and watch the buses being burned. If you can recollect the Hockley riots, it was terrible those days. PAP came into power, then it slowly changed everything. Things began to get better and better. And Bukit Hosui saw the first HTB flats or so.